Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to update your HTX firmware in your Radio Master Boxer. Now all the links will be in the description below to show you where to go to do this. So let's switch over to the computer and let's update the firmware. Now we need to go to this website which is buddy.edgetx.org and you can see if we click on firmware version down here there are newer ones so I'm going to click on the latest version which is 2.8.4 at the filming of this video. Okie dokie. Then we need to go to select our model. So we're going to get down to the Radio Master Boxer. Now you can see we can download the bin file and then manually do this update by putting on the SD card in the radio itself. But we're going to do it by connecting the radio to the computer. Now you can see if we look at here we can say flash via USB. Now what we need to do is not turn our radio on. We want it in DFU mode and we're just going to plug in to the top connector. You can hear my radio pick that up. So now back to the computer we're going to say flash via USB. Now you can see there's the bootloader and it should say STM32 bootloader. This is what you're looking for. It may ask you to add a device also but let's click on that anyway and you can see we've got SMT device and that should be the let's select that one anyway that should be our radio. Okay now we're going to go next and we should be good to go so we now can click flash and it will now go through the process. I'll leave this at normal speed so you can see how long it takes. And there we go. Now let's just click done. It will take us back to the open window. We can now unplug our radio. And now if we turn the radio on, I'm going to show you how to check you've got the right version, that it's updated correctly. Welcome to HTX. Okay. Now if we go into our system and then we go to the left one, there we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. If I put this there, you should be able to see it says version 2.8.4. So we have successfully updated our radio. Now what we're going to do is update our SD card. Now sometimes you need to do this. You don't need to do it every time, but with some uh, firmware builds you will need to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do this now in this video. So let's switch back over to my computer. And you can see we can now select this tab which is SD card content. Right, so it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. So we have to power on our device, uh, which is what we didn't need to do for the um, firmware update. We're going to plug into the top port again, and now we're going to select storage on our radio. So, and you can see where it says connect to the, and select storage, so it's giving us all the prompts we need. Okay, so we're going to select the SD card. There it is, that is the right one. We're going to make sure we're on the correct one, that is correct. So select folder and here we go. We now have to select which firmware we're using. We need to select version 2.8.0. Now we're going, to put, we're going to select English and we've got to select our model of radio. So in our case it's the Boxer. Hmm, which is not on there yet. 
Okay, that's interesting. You can see the box is not on there yet. I haven't because I'm actually doing this live the, the first time I was going to do it for this radio. And you can see we don't have a selection for the Radio Master Boxer. So what you would do is if the Radio Master Boxer was there, you would select it and then you say apply changes and it will then update the SD card for you if you need to do that. Obviously at the moment it's not set up on this system. Well, I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any problems with updating your radio, please just let me know and I'll try to assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. That caught me up, didn't it?